Welcome to another video. Imagine getting this question as question number one on a test. This is the kind of question that makes you shut down because you don't even know where to start. So we have an equation that combines a polynomial and a trigonometric function and you have x squared plus cosine x is equal to 2024. And you're supposed to find the sum of all real solutions. Now, at first, solving this equation might become scary, but as soon as you see that they're not asking you to find the solutions, they're asking you to find the sum of the solutions, you have to start thinking about the nature of the equation. And this is one of the easiest problems I've ever done on this channel. Let's get into the video. I want you to pay attention to the equation itself. This is a quadratic. And because it is just x squared, this portion of the function is even, right? So whether you plug in x or you plug in minus x, you get the same answer. The same thing here, cosine is an even function. So the cosine of x is the same as the cosine of minus x, right? So, what does this mean? This means that if x, let's call it x1, x2, x3, let's just say we have a bunch of x's that will solve this equation. We don't know how many solutions it's gonna have, but one thing we know is that if we solve this bunch of equations, um, if we solve this equation, we're going to have a bunch of solutions. x1, x2, x3, as many as it can be. Okay? Let x1, x2, x3 be the solutions to the equation. Because x1 and x2 and x3 can satisfy this equation, the negative versions of these values will also satisfy the equation because this is even and this is also even. So whether you plug in x1 or you plug in minus x1, this, the equation will be satisfied. Equation then minus x1 minus x2 minus x3 are also solutions to the equation. Since x squared plus cosine x is an even function. That's obvious. This is an even function because x squared plus cosine x is the same thing as minus x squared plus cosine of minus x. This is all you need to know and you've answered this problem because now we don't even know what the solutions are. But one thing we know, if we add up all of the solutions, to this equation, this is what we're going to get. So, sum of all solutions is, we're going to start from the first solution, x1 plus minus x1 plus x2. You see that? Plus minus x2 plus x3 plus minus x3 plus tap, 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 tap. That's how it goes on forever, depending on how many solutions it has. And what is x1 plus minus x1? It's zero. They're all zeros. So, therefore, sum of all real solutions 
is zero. You were not expected to solve the equation. You were just supposed to realize this and use it and add up all the solutions. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.